Monday, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to Shutterbug AU. It's the 15th of April and it is time for the second photo of the month. First of all, I'd like to apologize for being quite late. I had a pretty full on weekend with the markets and I will do a market update video to let you know how I went in the future. And a full on day at work as we gear up at work for our gala dinner the coming weekend. Um, hence, I'm a little late, but it's here. So the first photo was really well received. Lots of lovely comments about my trip to the Arctic and the Walrus, Walrus graveyard. Um, for me, I added, I started my third bump for my shutterbug or cuddlebug, and I did pink and grey. Um, I haven't done any squares, actually I've done very little craft work because if I wasn't getting ready for the markets, I was just so tired and work's pretty full on, as I said. So, are you ready for our second photo? Well, our second photo, and I'm very appreciative, was sent to me by Christine Bull, one of the subscribers. She sent me quite a few photos. A couple I put through the Crochet Studio app. I didn't really like the palette. But this one I did. Um, so the photo she sent was on a trip she went to Dreamworld in 2009. Dreamworld is a, I guess like a Disneyland theme park on um, south of here on the Gold Coast. I think it's on the Gold Coast. It's years since um, Thing and I went. I think we took, we were living in WA, Western Australia, and we took the boys there when they were teenagers. So that's how long ago. We haven't been back for ages. And I know in recent years, Dreamworld have had their problems, but it was a great place when we went. And I do remember all the colours and the liveliness of it, and the boys loved it. So I'll show you the photo. It's on my iPad, so hopefully in this very poor light late at night, it doesn't glare too much. Now, it is glaring. I'm trying to... Unfortunately, it's going to glare quite badly and the colours aren't showing true. Anyway, there'll be a picture at the end so you can check it out. So the bottom colour is actually like what you call a matador red. Then you've got a deep red going on a pink, a very light grey blue, a teal blue, an aqua blue, a limey yellow, a yellow and brown. But that is our photo. There you go. That might be better. It's a building at Dreamworld. Very colourful with a train out the front. It's such a great place for kids. Even as teenagers, the boys loved it. And yeah, you spend the whole day there and still not see it all and have lots of fun. So Christine, thank you once again. I really appreciate you sending the photos and getting involved in the make-along. Um, any other subscribers? I do have photos ready to go if I don't get any. But if any other subscribers would like to send me a photo, of course, it's got to be one of your photos and preferably not with faces of people in it because um, I'd really need their permission. So something you've taken like fauna, flora, buildings, anything that takes your fancy that has colour and colours you'd like to see in our make-along. So yes, we have some reds, some blues, some yellows and a bit of brown. Don't forget, check out the photo at the end. Remember, search your stash because near enough is good enough. It doesn't have to be an exact match, just in that colour theme. And yes, search your stash before you spend your cash. It's all about using up our yarn this year that we've stockpiled over the years. So there you go, guys. A very brief video from me. I'm sorry I'm extremely tired. And yes, thank Christine in the comments for the lovely photo. And let me know what you think of the colour selection um, from the palette. I think it, this one came out with a really great palette. So until the next video, where I hope to see you when I'll give you a market updates plus some other things, take care, stay safe, and make sure you have one crafty day. Bye for now.